We are in the edge of the forest on a pile of rocks alongside the Rio Atabapo and this is a fish trap they use during high water. Water is flowing through this channel and big catfish and other types of fish get funneled into this area right here and then they end up going through gaps in this fence it's kind of hard to see and then there's this basket on the other side try to give you a picture of it there there you go and the fish get trapped in that basket and they can spear them out or catch them out but it's pretty impressive how big this fish trap is and it only gets used during times of high water and we're here the water is still pretty high higher than we probably like it for collecting fish but it's still a beautiful place Ed's Fish Room and the Aquarium Life present Columbia 2016 Sponsored by Swiss Tropicals, the exclusive source for Paray foam filtration and other quality aquarium products Rapashi Superfoods, providing a full line of premium gel fish food including Bottom Scratcher And Amazonas Magazine, bringing the world of aquariums to your fingertips The first full day of exploring the Rio Atabapo got started after unloading all the camping gear and luggage at the beach where we would be spending the night and then getting back into the boat and heading upstream to find some places to look for fish. As we pull into a backwater channel off of the main river, we find a group of fishermen already working in the area, so we stop to take a look at their catch. Look at the peacock fish down there, baby. What's he got? The shoreline here is very rocky and the water is deeper than it looks. The fishermen were collecting small catfish for the aquarium trade. This is most likely Orinocodorus eigenmanii, the striped Raphael catfish found in this area. Peckers in here? These plecos are the main species these collectors are after, Dacisaria species L52 plecos. Dacisaria? Is that Dacisaria? Yeah. The water is deep enough here and the bottom is free of debris, so Dudu tries his hand at cast netting to see if there's anything swimming out in the open water. Now they're coming behind them. Sure, of course. So they just have to throw it again. There you go. Bait. Can you throw one and it's not him yet. three. Can you throw it down in the channel in between the rocks? This is no good. What is he? Very nice. Seems more blue, doesn't it? Yes. It's different. Blue, really different. Opa. Opa, opa. <laughs> the river provides fish to sell and fish to eat. Anything that is not legal to sell into the pet trade, is not of any interest to the pet trade, or is too large to ship gets kept for dinner. This canoe has today's catch, including an uncommon piranha, which is probably Cerasalmus manueli. There are also very large Atabapo red pike cichlids. Atabapo 2. Atabapo 2? Yeah. We try to engage the collectors to fish for some smaller pike cichlids for us, 
and promise to come back in a couple days and buy whatever they catch, but they are not interested in making a deal. So we pile back into the boat and head up to the Cano Batina, the same tributary we were collecting fish in yesterday, but now much closer to the Rio Atabapo itself. We keep moving upstream until we find a bank that is shallow enough for us to snorkel in and be able to see fish. Sponge filters are the choice of serious aquarists in their fish rooms because they are inexpensive and effective. The biggest mistake a fish keeper can make is to assume that there is no technical advantage to one type of filter over another. Parade filter foams are superior to other foams which will eventually break down in an aquarium. I have Paray foam filters from Swiss Tropicals that have been in constant use in my fish room for a decade. Swiss Tropicals is the exclusive distributor of Paray foam in North America and a supplier of other high quality aquarium products. Visit SwissTropicals.com today and learn more about the aquarium filters that the experts use. Rapashi Superfoods combines superior nutrition and ingredient quality in a gel food that fish like to eat. From staple diets to specialty feeds, there is a Rapashi Superfood formula that will benefit every fish in your aquarium. And the long-lasting gel allows fish to feed naturally on a food source that will stay in the water for many hours. Rapashi Superfoods are available from dependable retailers that specialize in high-quality aquarium and reptile products. For more information, visit the Rapashi Superfood website at www.rapashi.com. We had to move quite a ways upstream before we were able to find a spot where we could actually reach the shore without having too many flooded trees in the way. Now we're going to see if we can see some fish. I'm not seeing a whole lot of fish along this bank. A part of the problem is the water depth. When the water is this high, the fish densities are low because the fish can spread out and they're harder to find. The other problem is the tannin in the water. I can video about a foot to maybe two feet in front of the camera, but once the water gets deeper, like it is here, the visibility becomes very, very poor and it's hard to see anything at all. Finally, I find some fish, mostly cichlids along this muddy bottom a little ways off the shore, but as soon as I start swimming amongst them, they start heading for cover. There are a lot of fish in the area, but not in great density. We see dwarf pike cichlids, Cetana perca daemon earth eaters, and Biotodoma wavernae. Although there are some interesting fish here, the density is not enough to try collecting, so we head back out to the main river channel. We are experiencing how hard it is to catch fish when the water is high. In a few months, this water will be a lot lower and the fish will be concentrated into smaller areas where they would be easier to catch. But by that time of year, the water clarity will be worse than it is now, and underwater video would be impossible. So we take advantage of good light and clear water to see what we can see, and hope to find easier collecting elsewhere. This location has some flooded trees and about 18 inches of water. Many fish are finding refuge from the sun under the trees, including a school of really big Brycon species tetras that I try very hard to get some good video of. If 
Eventually, everyone joins me in trying to see and catch the Tetras. Dudu tries to catch him on hook and line without success. I was able to find a nice group of Biotodoma wabernae to film. And also a nice Sitanaperca daemon. The afternoon is getting hot and we are not finding a lot of fish, so we decide to return to the beach camp where we know the water is shallow and see what we can catch there. Don't miss an episode of Columbia 2016. Please subscribe to my channel and help spread the word by sharing this video with your friends. Thank you for watching Ted's Fish Room and please check out my sponsors for this series, Rapashi Superfoods, SwissTropicals.com, and Amazonas Magazine.